So here, let's start from left. Shen Weijian, the plaintiff of the PAG who brought the legal cases on behalf of the CCP attacking Miles Guo, the CCP enemy number one. Cultivated Spy has a different life trajectory because they were groomed to serve the kleptocracy. And they were groomed to against the interest of the people, regardless whether you're Chinese people or you're American people. And on top of it, his whole family right now are enjoying their freedom in the United States and living in multi-million mansions they bought in cash. So Shen Weijian returned to Beijing in 1975. Do you remember I mentioned about Cultural Revolution? It's from 1966 to 1976, the whole country that was brought down by Mao, the human atrocity that closed down all the schools. But Shen was be able to go back to Beijing in 1975, before the entire country even opened. He's already been sent back to the school. And guess what? Where, where did he went? He went to Beijing Institution of Foreign Trade and studying English. Okay, that time it was a red China. Everybody studied Russia. If you're a common rank and fire, you don't study English because English was reserved for those privileged class. And who are they? They're the top CCP ruling elites and their loyal spies and servants. They're sir reserved for them. So Shan studying English before the entire nation even started university, reopening university, it tells you quite a bit. And he's a privileged class. And then his resume did all the good things and the right things to prepare to who he is today. So he went to, he got an MBA one year. So just think about this guy. This guy went to the Cultural Revolution. So he was at that time, not even graduate from primary school. And then 1975, he went and studied English. And after that, in 1981, he came to the United States and studied. That's the very early on when the Chinese government signed, you know, deals, technology, and um, what I just mentioned, STA, the science and technology agreement, which, you know, spurred the, the sending the first batch of the 500 Chinese um, uh, uh, students overseas in America. And most of them are actually cultivated and groomed.